I'm Kevin Wallace and I joined council in 2006. The member who had who'd represented our area for a while was stepping down and came to me and said, have you thought about doing this? I think you'd find it quite interesting. And, and that was about as much as I thought about it. And then the more I thought about it, I thought, yeah, that would be interesting. I'd like to do my bit and, and you know, help to shape the profession. And also it sounded quite an interesting thing to do. Uh, when I joined, it felt like a lot of middle-aged men. Uh, and unfortunately, I think I've probably joined that group now. But the, the council is now much more representative of the profession, a lot more different ethnicities and, and a lot more women on council too, which makes a lot of sense with the makeup of our profession. The main thing is representing your area. So coming to the meetings and, and then the, the other um, ways you can be involved in discussions of saying this is what works here, these are issues we are having, um, and just flagging those so we can discuss them. And then when we do discuss an issue, um, you can put forward the views of people in your area and experiences you have. So that range of experience is really important. It's been a really interesting time. I've enjoyed the, the years because partly when, when I joined, 2006 was a really interesting time in Scotland as that's when the new GOSH regulations were coming in. Um, so there were a lot of changes happening at the time and it was just nice to be involved at the beginning and, and finding out about things and, and shaping some of that policy as well. Uh, and the bit I, I really enjoyed right at the beginning was getting involved in some of the advice we were putting out to members. Practical advice, because I spend a lot of time still working in practice, that is useful and, and helpful for busy practitioners to help them in their day-to-day -day work. It's always interesting to discuss these things with other people with different viewpoints and hear the things that are affecting practitioners working in particularly different modes of practice. We don't run short on time. It's not something that's difficult to tease views out of people. We often find that it's, it's harder sometimes to end the discussion rather than um, keep it going. Yeah, the main things I suppose are, are two in that one, being able to produce useful practical guidance, which I like to do, you know, I, I always try and get it down to, you know, one or two sides of A4 and particularly going out and seeing members. So the roadshows we've done over the years, different types, the legal roadshows, making accurate claims and the peer review events. It's just great to get around the country and meet people where they are and discuss the issues that are relevant to them.